Welcome to Rio's Positive POV. This is part five. Yes, part five. The final part of me showing you my entire Blu-ray collection. So let's get to it. The first movie is Ted. Yes, I showed you Ted 2 earlier. This is the first movie starring Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis and Seth MacFarlane. This is a really funny movie. It is one which my family loved when they first seen it. And it's definitely one which you should check out for sure. The next movie we have is, for me, just my guilty pleasure movie. It is The Devil Wears Prada. Meryl Streep is just fantastic in this movie. And this may be one of my most watched movies of all time. Yes, The Devil Wears Prada. Also, Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt. I just absolutely adore both of them. The next movie we have is The Deer Hunter, starring Robert De Niro, another movie which features just an insane performance from Meryl Streep. Christopher Walken is also fantastic in this movie. This is, for me, one of the best movies ever made. I am a huge, huge fan of Deer Hunter. The next movie we have another one which is just an absolute classic. The Shawshank Redemption. I've done a review previously of this movie on my channel. Um, this is one of the best movies for me. Um, Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman are fantastic and it's just such a great movie from Frank Darabont. So The Shawshank Redemption I'm sure most people would have seen but if you haven't seen it yet most definitely check it out. The next movie is a remake. It is the Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith version of The Karate Kid. I didn't see this in the cinema, I solely bought the Blu-ray. It is a decent enough movie, but doesn't come close to the original. The next movie we have is The Man From Uncle, starring Henry Cavill and The Man Eater. Sorry, The Woman Eater. Sorry, Army Hammer. This is a really good movie. I was hoping they were going to make a sequel, but considering what's going on with Army, I doubt that will ever come to light, but I still hold a small glimmer of hope. The next movie we have is The Interview. This movie has me in absolute stitches every time I see it. Fantastic, funny movie, a movie which was completely basically banned everywhere. The Interview. The next movie is Nicholas Winding Refn's The Neon Demon. This is a visually stunning movie. It is fantastic. I am a huge Huge fan of Winding Refn's style. The visuals in his movies are just second to none. This movie, I've seen a lot of love on Twitter recently for this movie and just deserves. Also, I stan Elle Fanning. She is amazing. The next movies that we have, movies, is a movie series which is absolutely hated by pretty much everyone. But me, I am a massive fan of read all the books, rewatch the movies all the time, I do not care. Also, the house that they live in is like my dream house. So, we have The Twilight Saga. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and Breaking Dawn Part 2. I'm a twihard and I do not care. Say something, say something, do something about it if you care. The next movie we have is a cult classic. This is one of my dad's favorite movies and one of my favorite movies as well, The Warriors. This movie is so good. I love the design of all the characters and the costumes. The journey through New York is pretty awesome. Apart from London, New York is probably my second favorite place on earth, so The Warriors. The next movie we have is The Wolverine, starring Hugh Jackman. This is one of the worst Wolverine movies, but it's one I have to have in my collection. I'm a huge fan of Hugh Jackman and his performance Oz, Oz of The Wolverine. The next movies we have is The Incredibles and The Incredibles 2. The Incredibles 
is my favourite animated movie. I am such a huge fan. Number two, I still thoroughly enjoy a lot, but it's not as good as number one, of course. The next movie we have is The Hatton Garden Job, which is all about these old fellas who basically rob a jewellers in Hatton Gardens. If you don't know about Hatton Gardens, it's basically this place in London um, where they sell loads of jewellery. Next, we have The Accountant, starring Ben Affleck. This is a really good movie. Anna Kendrick is amazing in this movie. It's definitely one you should check out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, the next movie we have is The Hangover, the extended cut. This movie was hilarious. That scene where Mr. Chow jumps out the boot, singing, shouting, you tried to fuck on me? Oh my God. I remember just dying, dying, dying from that scene. This movie is hilarious. The next movie we have is one, the, this is the worst movie I have in my collection by far. It is The Last Airbender. That movie sucks so much. I love the anime and the fact they just butchered it with that movie is just, ugh, ugh, makes me sick. The next movie we have is the Coen Brothers, The Big Lebowski. This movie is so, so good. One of my favorite movies ever made. Jeff Bridges is just outstanding in that movie. His performance as the dude is just iconic. Talking of iconic, we have the greatest actor to ever step foot on a movie set. Daniel Day-Lewis in what many call his best performance in There Will Be Blood. This is a Paul Thomas Anderson movie and is one of the best movies ever, ever made. My favourite Daniel Day-Lewis performance and one which I've noticed isn't in my collection, I need to rectify that, is his performance in My Left Foot where he plays a para paraplegic. That performance is insane. Next, we have The Pursuit of Happiness by Will Smith. Not by Will Smith, it stars Will Smith. It's inspired by a true story and the movie is inspiring. I am a huge, huge fan. Every time I watch this movie, I then listen to the Kid Cudi tune, Pursuit of Happiness, on repeat for about four weeks. Next, we have The Place Beyond the Pines, Ryan Gosling at his finest, fantastic performance. And then you have Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendes, and Ray Lata finishing a truly awesome cast. When we're talking awesome casts, there doesn't get better than Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. Just listen to the cast. Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hurt, Toby Jones, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kieran Hines, and Gary Oldman. Come on, that is just British royalty right there. This movie is fantastic. The next movie we have is Jason Segel and Emily Blunt in the five year engagement. You will notice that I have loads of Emily Blunt movies in my collection. I am a massive, massive fan. If I haven't already said that a hundred times in these videos, the next we have is Illumination Presents The Secret Life of Pets. Very funny movie. I am fascinated by animals and I'm also fascinated by just the concept of owning pets and the fact that I own dogs myself and what do they, what do they think? What is going through their minds? Especially when they're sitting at home while we're all at work. The next movie is Jessica Chastain and Daniel Brawl, The Zookeeper's Wife. Jessica Chastain, I can't lie, she is a magnificent actress, one of the best to ever do it, but she is just my cinematic crush. I just absolutely adore her. I think she's one of the most beautiful women alive and I have to own all her movies. The next we have is This Means War, starring Rene, Rene? She's got the same name as me and I ruined it. Reese Witherspoon, Chris Pine and Tom Hardy, two spies basically fight over this girl. It's a rom-com. Yes, I do like a good old rom-com, I cannot lie. Next we have Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis, Top Gun. Top Gun. I cannot wait for Top Gun Maverick to come out. Huge fan. Tom Cruise, what a guy, what a guy. Next we have Transporter 3, starring Jason Statham. This is just a 
non-stop thrill ride. Fun, fast and thrilling is what the cover says. And that's exactly what it is. The next movie we have is the Lego movie. Everything is awesome. Another animated movie that I absolutely love. The last movie of this little batch is Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler. The Wrestler is just a fantastic movie. Really well shot and features such a stellar performance from Mickey Rourke. Probably his best ever on screen. This is a masterpiece. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a masterpiece. One sec, I'll be back with another batch. Okay, second batch. The first movie is The Florida project starring William Dafoe. This movie has no right looking as good as it does. It is a beautifully shot movie. The visuals is absolutely outstanding and it shows you how you have somewhere like Disneyland which is seen as this global kind of destination for people to go to in its wonderful place and just down the road you've got people living in squalor people just in a completely different situation and basically just shows the way life is. There's two sides to everything and it's actually insane. The next movie is The Lost Boys. The Lost Boys is just an iconic vampire movie. Um, when it comes to vampire movies, this will be most people's favorite. Mine, however, is a movie which I've realized I don't have in my collection near dark and I don't understand why I don't have it. I need to really work that one out. It may be the case it's a little bit harder to get in the UK, but I will get that for sure. Taken, starring Liam Neeson. This movie had no right, no right at all, being as good as it was. It was such a awesome movie. All my in real life friends, not my internet, Twitter and YouTube people, fucking love that movie. And they are, they are not easy to please them people. So Taken is magnificent. Next, we have The Wire. This is seasons one, two, three, four, and five of The Wire. I will just sing the praises of The Wire until the day I die. I will not recommend that TV series enough. It is just so, so good. It is, for me, just the best piece of television ever created. Next, we have The Social Network the david fincher movie which is all about facebook all about the startup of facebook starring um, jesse eisenberg that movie is fantastic it is my favorite fincher and is one of my top 10 movies of all time next we have terminator dark fate this is the most recent terminator movie to come out i really actually like this one uh, the problem with terminator is, is you've got t1 and t2 and they are both just perfect movies right and everything that comes after people are going to hate on it is just natural and i understand that but dark fate i actually enjoyed next movie we have is the girl on the train movie starring emily blunt edgar ramirez lisa cudro allison janey luke evans justin Thoreau, hayley bennett and rebecca ferguson this is a really solid movie i am actually a bigger fan of the book that it's based on however it's definitely worth a watch if you are not into book reading the next movie we have is the disaster artist starring and directed by james franco ladies and gentlemen this is based on the room yeah which is a movie by tommy wiseau and you need to watch this movie but before that you have to watch the room that is one of the best worst movies of all time. The next movie we have is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. This movie is just 10 out of 10 amazing. Um, Jack Nicholson in form, in form. Stanley Kubrick in form. And I just love the cover. I love the cover. I love this cover. Little slip sleeve. And then you've got the old normal Here's Johnny on the front. So perfect, perfect movie. Next we have The Big Short. This has just got an outrageously good cast and it is an outrageously good movie. 
If you are into stocks, buying shares and stuff like that, this is the movie for you. If you're not, you need to be, so go watch this movie. The next we have is Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's The Taxi Driver. Again, what a sexy looking cover. This movie is just so good. One of De Niro's top three performances and just why oh why, what a movie. Next we have Tenet in glorious 4K Ultra HD. Some people didn't like Tenet. I thought it was amazing. It gets better and better every time I watch it. And you put this on my 75 inch TV with the old sandbar going boom, boom, bang, bang, Tenet. The next movie is Terry Gillenham's 12 Monkeys. This is a very fucking weird film, but it is awesome. Starring Bruce Willis, Madeline Stowe, and Brad Pitt. The next movie we have is Blake Lively in The Shallows. I am a huge, huge fan of shark movies. I don't get in the ocean past waist height. However, shark movies are kind of my thing. Even the crappy ones I find some serious enjoyment from. And The Shallows is actually a really good shark movie. The next movie we have is David Fincher's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button starring Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett. This is a fantastic movie, but not one of Fincher's finest, if that makes sense. That geezer has some serious, serious movies. The next we have is written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. It is the master starter in Joaquin Phoenix, Philip Seymour Hoffman, and Amy Adams. This is just a perfect movie. It is a hundred out of a hundred. It is so, so good. PTA is one of my top five movie directors. The next we have The Imitation Game starring Benedict Cumberbatch. This is a good movie. Is it going to blow your mind? No. Is it worth a watch? Yes. The next we have is The Inbetweeners movie. If you don't know about The Inbetweeners, check yourself before you wreck yourself because the series and the movie are just fucking hilarious. It was also the first time I seen Theo James and I can never look at that geezer ever without seeing a piece of shit hanging off his nose. So thank you in between us movie. The next we have is The Italian Job starring Charis Ferron, Mark Wahlberg, Edward Norton, Jason Statham, Seth Green. Can't even remember who else is in this now. Is it Moss Def in it as well? I think it is. Yeah, Moss Def's in it as well. This is a really good remake. Not as good as the original, of course. The next we have The Expendables, which is a nuts movie. It is basically all the action heroes of the 80s together in a movie, kicking major ass. The next we have another David Fincher movie starring Rooney Mara and Daniel Craig. It is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This is a awesome movie. Awesome, awesome movie. I would recommend everyone also to go and check out the Swedish trilogy which came out. It's so good. The next we have The Business. The Business. This movie is awesome. Look, if you love British gangster movies, then you are going to love this movie. A Nick Love film. He's the same geezer who wrote and directed The Football Factory. The Business is worth a watch. The next, we have The Invisible Man, directed by Lee Winnell, starring Elizabeth Moss. This movie is fantastic. i seen it in the cinema and I really liked it, to be honest. I thought the scene in the restaurant with the knife, oh, that caught me so off guard and it was banging. The next, we have The Sound of Music. Julie Andrews is a revelation. Julie Andrews is an icon. And this movie is just such a wholesome, wholesome movie. It is amazing. The next we have The Fighter starring Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bell. Mark Wahlberg plays Mickey Ward. And this movie is so good. Christian Bell is amazing. Amy Adams is amazing. Everyone in this movie just puts on such a shift such a shift and Melissa Lisa Leo is just fantastic in this movie 
The next movie we have is True Romance. True Romance is one of my favorite movies of all time. Written by Quentin Tarantino and directed by Tony Scott. This movie is a top 10 movie for me and it could have been even better if it was directed by Tarantino, if that makes sense. Gary Oldman also puts on one of his best performances in this movie. Just absolutely amazing. And Patricia Arquette, oh, sex symbol. The next we have The Football Factory. This is all about English hooligans, my firm, the Chelsea Headhunters, and it is a fully enjoyable movie again if you haven't seen this movie this is a british classic 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 the next we have three billboards outside ebbing missouri starring francis mcdormand this movie is so bloody good and francis mcdormand just won an oscar bird and she deserves it because she is such a great actress Next we have The Wolf of Wall Street. This movie is amazing. Margot Robbie, oh, oh my God. She blew my mind in this movie and Leo was amazing in this. He should have won an Oscar for this performance because it was insane. And the fact it was based basically for a true story is nuts. The last movie of this batch is Martin Scorsese's The Departed. Love, love this movie. Fun fact, the second time I went to New York, I actually drank a few beers in the movie, the old um, cranberry juice scene. Where that movie shot, I actually had a few beers and played a few games of pool. That made me very happy. When I go abroad, I just search for places where they shot movies. Um, okay, cool. Just gonna get another batch. Final batch. The first movie is The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games for me is a semi-decent movie. However, I do feel like they just completely ripped off Battle Royale, so it doesn't get much love over here. The next we have is Training Day, starring Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. I love this movie, honestly, it is fantastic. It's Denzel's best performance for me, Training Day. The next we have The Shape of Water. I'm gonna make another video about this movie because I need to just speak about why i love it as much as i do it is so so good and it's in glorious 4k ultra high definition next we have unbreakable starring bruce willis and samuel l jackson this movie is amazing and is now part of a trilogy the next we have the ugly truth starring katherine heigl and jared butler another rom-com for the collection Next we have Claire Foy in Unsane. This is an amazing movie from Steven Soderbergh and it is just a psychological beast movie. I am a huge, huge fan. Is she insane or is she unsane? That is the question. Great movie. Next we have Jordan Peele's second movie, Us. What a movie. Lupita is just a revelation in this movie and should have got a lot more recognition for her performance in that movie because she put on two fantastic performances in that movie next we have a collection of movies this is a movie series which is one of my favorites i know they're not great movies but i just love vampire movies like it doesn't matter what they are i just love vampire movies and this movie collection is Underworld, Underworld, we have Blood Wars, the original Underworld, Underworld Evolution, Underworld Awakening, and Underworld Rise of the Lycans. Kate Beckinsale walking around in black lycra, what is there not to love? Next we have V for Vendetta, this is a still book, a really, look, it's just, look at that. Look at that, man. That is just some sexy shit. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just so good. Every time I watch it, it just gets better and better. V for Vendetta. Next, we have Vice, which is a movie which 
was hyped up so much. The Hollywood Reporter, yes, the same people the other day who said about the attendance of the award-winning movies being the lowest ever, bunch of spazzes. This movie is overrated. It's not great. Next, we have Venom, starring Tom Hardy. I liked parts of this movie. Am I a fan? No. Do I think the sequel is going to be 10 times better? Yes, I do. I really think the sequel is going to be awesome. Next, we have Vertigo. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo, starring Grace Kelly. <sighs> no, it's not Grace Kelly. Sorry, I'm getting confused with Real Window. My bad. It's Kim Novak. Alfred Hitchcock, that geezer, knows how to pick his leading ladies. Wow. And James Stewart is just, what an actor. Next, we have Wanted. This is another still book. James McAvoy, Morgan Freeman, Angelina Jolie. This is a wholesome, awesome movie. I love it. Next, we have War of the Planet of the Apes. This is the third movie in the Planet of the Apes trilogy and is a fantastic conclusion to one of the best trilogies of all time. Next, we have another Emily Blunt movie, Wild Target. That is a really stupid, silly, rom-com type of movie. And it's really enjoyable. Next, we have Steven Spielberg's War Horse. This is based on a play which was in the West End. I seen the play and it blew my mind. So I had to see the movie. It's Spielberg. So it is written here by Chris Tukey of the Daily Mail. Spielberg's finest work, a masterpiece. I don't agree with it being Spielberg's finest work. However, it is a fantastic movie. Next, we have Whip It. Whip It is a movie Directorial debut from Drew Barrymore, starring Elliot Page. What a movie. Fantastic. Under, underrated. The next movie we have is Whiplash. This movie is so fucking good. J.K. Simmons is just intense. Intensity is the word for Whiplash. What? What a movie. Damien Chazelle is just a bad boy filmmaker. Next we have War Dogs starring Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. Decent movie, it is worth a watch. Then we have Wonder Woman starring the woman. Wonder Woman. I enjoyed Wonder Woman, it's one of the better movies in the DC Extended Universe. I weren't the biggest fan of WW84, however, but Wonder Woman gets nothing but props from me. Now we have What's Eating Gilbert Grape, one of the first Leonardo DiCaprio performances. And I believe he was nominated for an Academy Award for this one. Yeah, best supporting actor, Oscar nomination that made him into a star. I don't think what Seaton Gilbert Great made him into a star, but I do think it was a factor for sure. The next movie we have is a Pixar movie, Wally. Wally is one of the best animation movies. It is a movie which has a purpose. It's a movie which has a story behind it. It's a movie that should inspire people to make a change. Wally is just an amazing movie. I love it. Next, we have Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton in Warrior. This is an amazing movie. I love MMA. Any martial arts movies for me is just a win. It's a win. And then you put Tom Hardy in it. The guy's physique in this movie is insane. The way he kind of molds his body for roles is insane. Next, we have Wedley, Wedley? Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson in White Men Can't Jump. I don't know if this is true. I know I'm a white man and I definitely cannot jump, but I'm sure I've seen a few people in the NBA jump that are in fact white. Not many, but a couple. Great, great movie, love it. Next we have Zodiac, the director's cut. Fincher, bad boy director, bad boy movie, not much to say. The final movie in my collection, ladies and gentlemen, 
Zero Dark Thirty, starring Jessica Chastain. And it is one to really, really end on. Directed by one of the best directors of all time, Catherine Bigelow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of my Blu-ray collection. If you've watched this video, thank you. If you've watched all five parts, thank you. I will surely be back soon with some more Blu-ray editions because I realize there are many movies that don't have in my collection that I need. So I'm Rio. This has been my positive POV. Well, it's been my collection anyways. Thank you for watching. Peace out.